Hi there. Wanted to talk about the Marvel Knights Spider-Man Collection Volume 1. This collects the issues 1 to 12 of the Marvel Knights Spider-Man, later retitled Spectacular Spider-Man, I think. This is the entire Mark Miller penned run after it changed um, writers. Art is by Frank Cho. Um, this book is getting quite rare to find now, because I don't think it's in print anymore. Um, the copy I got was marked as sort of shop worn, but it's in perfect condition other than the um, first page coming away from the others. But that doesn't actually affect the main binding. It's just a sort of, don't know what you call it, that very first coloured colour page in the book. Um, otherwise it opens and reads fine. This follows Spider-Man as he's going about his business and Aunt May gets kidnapped. Um, and he's trying to track down who, who kidnapped Aunt May and what that would be. And he goes through a sort of rose gallery of villains, shaking them down, looking for um, information. Um, it turns out Norman Osborn had been orchestrating the whole thing and was the architect of this plan. Um, you get introduced to the new Venom with um, Matt Gargan in it. Um, you get also get another version of Venom that doesn't last very long with just some general gangster picking him up. Um, you get to see like supervillain auctions behind the scenes where supervillains are like auctioning off powers and suits and weapons and that. Um, as with Mark Miller, there's lots of puns and pop culture references that uh, instantly date it. Uh, they can't avoid it, it instantly dates it. But, you know, if you were around at the time that the book was written, it's fine. They're, they're nice little sort of nods and nostalgic things and you think, okay, I don't mind it. And they make you chuckle and laugh and see if you can spot Lois Lane and Superman and Jimmy Olsen in the book. You know, there's lots of other sort of references to comics and films and pop culture. Um, it's a great story. What I like about the Marvel Knights run of Spider-Man, I think it suits Spider-Man as well, being what he is. I know he's a family-friendly sort of superhero, but in Marvel Knights, people get injured when they have fights in the centre of town. But Spider-Man is running around trying to save people. People are getting killed, people are getting injured, and there's moments when, you go, when cars get blown up on the street. Spider-Man says, there's kids in those cars, and the bad guy's like, I don't care. But Spider-Man's like, we're dead now. And it's just you know that's the reality of the situation. You see why Spider-Man can't stop, and why it has to he has to do something all the time to protect people. And it just helps drive that home rather than just being some generic explosion. Black Cat's in this, and there's some good scenes and moments between Black Cat and Mary Jane, where you can see Mary Jane is put out that Black Cat's sort of sniffing around Peter um, because she still fancies him, and of course you know. MJ's jealous and uh, puts her in her place as well and says, listen, why don't you get yourself your own fucking boyfriend and just piss off? And you think, yeah, fair play. That's probably uh, what, what you should say to her because, you know, Black Cat's there with all her cleavage hanging out and that, you know, trying to lure Peter in. Not that Peter would, but you can see why she'd do it. Um, I think it's a, re a really good collection to read. Uh, I got this for under £30, but the price just fluctuates all the time if you can find it. I'll throw up some price shots on the screen um, to see if I can, you can still find it online. Um, but otherwise, get it digitally. Uh, it's a fun story. It, it, I think it's a like key Spider-Man story to read as well, because it just frames up a few things. Um, and it's definitely worth reading. I haven't read the run after Miller, um, but... You know that, that that's neither here nor there. This is uh, this is just worth reading on its own. The, the first the twelve issue run. Um, please put any comments you have below. Otherwise, please feel free to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.